So I saw this like 12 hours ago. I honestly, I should have posted it. I should have stopped what I was doing and posted because we got the new Hall of Heroes. I just saw this and I was like, God, this is so terrible. This is the worst Hall of Heroes that we have gotten. I'll say at least all year. I don't know about ever. At least for the past year. This is just a terrible, terrible unit. Uh, let's take a look at the gargoyles in general, and then let's see some gameplay with this one and some of the others. This is how you know Monster's bad. As a YouTuber, it is my job to make things look as exciting as possible. Myself and the other YouTubers out there. How many of us are doing videos talking about how amazing this unit is? It's just, it's, how are we supposed to stretch it? Anything that he does, the Wind and Light String Masters just do better, and... A lot of people still don't even like them. Like, they have their niche uses. He is not even as good as they are, and they are niche. So, this is just a, this is a pick-never situation. I don't think he was used at all, even once, in RTA last season. We have four-star specialty right now. He is not being used in four-star specialty. He is not a good unit. I have every single one of these built, by the way. Every single one of these six stars. Let's uh, talk about their skills, and let's talk about... Oh, before we get that started... Let's do, this is a little, t don't, don't worry too much about the S, A, B, C, D. This is just, I wanted to rank them in order of who is better than who. So uh, that's how I feel in terms of usability for these units, just in general. In case you guys are curious, if you have the resources, which one to build, I think the wind one is the best. We also saw the light one uh, yesterday, actually, and he wasn't doing too bad. Although I've used them before, just the situation is... He has to be hit first, and then he increases cooldowns versus, like, the Fire Succubus or the Dark Pixie, which they just increase it when, uh, when, when they hit the enemy units. So, uh, let's take a look at his skills. <laughs> He's got, I didn't want to put the scallops into it. I'm sorry. It's just more important to put the scallops into this one, into this one. Oh, this one's not even, I actually didn't know about that. But let's take a look at the skills for the water one, though. Attacks the enemy to inflict damage increases according to your defense. Stuns the enemy for one turn, 30% chance. Increase your defense by 30%. This is actually not bad. The Stone Claws is not a bad skill. We've got the Earth Strike. Damage on all enemies proportion to your defense and provokes them for one turn, 80% chance. Each afterwards will be turned into a, st a statue until the next turn starts. While you're able to, st while you are a statue, you won't be able to move, but you will gain immunity against inability. It's the same one as the Light and the Wind ones. It's just an AoE provoke. And he gets, he, he gets the stone state after that. Then we have the Statue of Robots. This is what makes him not as good as the other ones. The Wind one will do reflect damage based on his defense. The Light one will increase the enemy's cooldowns. This one is just... If he ends the turn with less than 50% HP, he'll be turned into a statue until the next turn starts. The target that attacks you will have attack power decrease. Not just any target. That takes a turn. It's just the target that attacks you. will have its attack power de decrease for two turns when you are turned into a statue. That's it. He's just a worse version of the Wind String Master and the Light String Master who people, don't al who people already don't like. These units are just plain better. This, uh, the Wind one, the Light one. The thing that would make a lot of these units useful, let's actually go through and let's see them in... 17 years later, I finally find the unit. So here's the thing. They have several big glaring issues working against them. Number one is their terrible base speed. All of them have 93 base speed. 93 base speed in a turn-based game. I don't know if I have to tell you guys this, because you probably already know. 93 base speed is generally pretty garbage. It is less of an issue if the unit has a passive that steals turns, like, for example, Antares. Less of an issue with Antares because he cuts in, he steals turns, so the base speed doesn't really matter in terms of him getting enough turns to use his skills. These units do not cut in at all. They just have 93 base speed, and they need to take turns in order to activate their stone state, which is hard for them to do with 93 base speed. So that's number one issue working against them. It's not always a deal breaker. Some units can get away with it, but for this situation... They cannot get away with it. Number two is they are all defense classification units. And in this game, we have ignored defense with, like, Lucian, right? We have no ignored defense with Lucian. We have ignored defense with... <laughs> I want to say Reno. Nobody's really using Reno. <laughs> Realistically, we have Molog. We have... Because pure damage, right? Uh, Ikaris. We have Ciara with the bombs. We have all, plenty of different bombers, right? Uh, we have all of those units. We also have pure damage in other ways in skills. 
we also have additional damage and artifacts, and then we have defense breaks. So defense classification units, again, there are some exceptions to the rule where some defense classification units are actually pretty good, but generally speaking, defense classification units have some disadvantages just straight away. So bad base speed, uh, defense classification already working against them, so their skills would need to be amazing to actually be effective but their skills are not necessarily i get some of them are okay like this one is is pretty good this one is pretty good but then you get to the the bottom of the barrel this tanzate and he's just not he's just not as good i mean like even like we were talking about the string masters before like they will they will effectively get turns when they shouldn't right they they have uh skills to increase the attack age or just go into their song playing state automatically with the wind and light ones. This one needs to actually take a turn and then he can do this which is not even as good as a niche unit. So you have a lot of things working against these. Here is the big thing which I want, I'm just talking just forever right? Here is the big thing that I want to mention that would just, and I think Comptuous actually knows this and I feel like Comptuous is going to implement this in a balance patch in like who knows, six months, a year, eventually they're going to be like, you know, we're going to make these units meta. Hold on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. All they need to do to make all of these units good is to start the match as stones. That's it. All of their passives would be active before they even get turns. So this is just going to mitigate damage from multi-hits. This would be great against anything that has multi-hits. There's a lot of units that have multi-hits, right? Starts the match right away. Your opponent is going to be fast and aggressive, but he's going to do less damage towards you, right? This one starts the st if he started this, the match in a stone state. Anything that attacked him would get uh, the... He would still be the worst of them, but they would all be significantly better. The base fee wouldn't matter as much, and their passives would all be active. Like, for example, you take Antares. The match starts, his passive is active. You take the Fire Striker. The match starts, his passive is active. Ragdoll, passive is active. All of these passives are active at the beginning of the match. That's what makes these units effective. These ones, they need to actually get turns to use the, to, for their passives to be effective. I think that Comptuous knows this. Like, all of these units would be so good. So good against fast, aggressive uh, uh, comps. Everything would be very, very solid against fast, aggressive comps if they started the match in Stone State. Again, this one would still be the bottom of the barrel, but they would be more effective. And I think Comptuous knows this, and I think ultimately they are going to... Like, they're not as stupid as I... Sometimes I feel I'm like, they are so stupid, right? Because the AI... But the AI is bad for a reason. Like, they intentionally make the AI bad because if the AI was good, then there wouldn't be any RNG. People would just use the same exact teams for dungeons all the time. We do have the purees, but they do it on purpose. Unfortunately, I hate to say that, but they do do it on purpose. So I think that they know that these units are going to be good if the match starts with them in stone state and they release them weak on purpose so that they can buff them later. This is how they do a lot of stuff like this is they release a lot of units weak so they can buff them on purpose, which means that they get content in two different ways at two different points in time, which makes it seem like the game has more content coming out than it actually does. That's just the reality of the situation. It's a mobile game. They're kind of milking. They're kind of milking it. They're, they're milking any content that they make to be able to use it be able to effectively have things interesting at multiple different points in time. So let's, <laughs> now that I've talked for 500 years, I really do believe that uh, that these units are going to get buffed to start the stone state, uh, start the match in stone state at some point in time. Let's go try to make something happen with him. Here's how we're going to try it. For the first team, the Lauren on defense, actually the Dark Gargoyle is not bad against the Lauren on defense. She will keep defense breaking him, decreasing his attack age. Other units will keep hitting him. And then also with her decreasing his attack age, he's not going to get a turn to take, him state, to take himself out of stone state. The only issue is him getting into it in the first place, which may or may not happen. So we'll see how effective that is. For the second team, we're just going to use this with CR and Fran. We're going to see what happens. I'm not expecting very much, but let's get it started and let's see if maybe we're somehow amazingly surprised at his effectiveness. Okay, defense breaks, and then she does one of... We need to, we need to do this. We need to do this. Let's do... 
Sleep, very nice. Okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't kill that. Don't kill that. I want to do... No, I don't. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't hit that. Don't hit him. I want to do. Okay, let's do. Let's do this. Although I feel that this is going. There we. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. And then we will cleanse you. And then he's already out of it. Okay. Although he's gonna, he's gonna turn himself into. Uh, well. Maybe we can still make this work. We did not make it work. Which is kind of what I expected, right? Alright, let's do this. Let's see. No, 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 no. Don't hit that one. Antares can still win this. He can still win this. Let's do uh, Stinkle. And we might be fine. Depending on RNG. Uh, <clears throat> Right. We're not fine. Can we proc several more times and get sleeps? No. No. Okay. So, we brought uh, the Dark Gargoyle in, and that's what I expected to happen. I think we could have played that a little bit differently and still squeaked out a win, but such is life. Let's do this. All right. Gonna take some damage. No, don't, don't, don't hit, don't hit Sierra. <laughs> don't hit Sierra, okay? And we, and we lost this one as well. I was hoping, here's, okay, so here's what I was hoping was going to happen, is I was hoping that the wind, uh, where the, the wind bison was going to hit the gargoyle, and then Theomars was going to target after that, and... CR was going to be safe. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. There's absolutely no way we can win this now because the, the Gargoyle doesn't do anything. Realistically, he doesn't do anything, so there's there's nothing there's nothing that's going to happen. Wow, wow, we stunned. We stunned Theomars. It's amazing. That's that's it. That's that's that. There's nothing we could... He doesn't do any damage. He's defense, as soon as his defense broke, he does even less damage. So this is effectively... Dunzo. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do here. Since we lost the real battle, let's try a fake battle now. Let's see how he does against this. He's gonna get hit by the uh, Weapon Master. I don't know how it's... Hold on. Let's see how it's speed tuned. It is speed tuned to... I, I want the Weapon Master to be... Uh... Well, the, the Gargoyle is gonna be targeting the Weapon... Uh, the Weapon Master is gonna be targeting the Gargoyle regardless. So I want Theomars to hit the Gargoyle after that. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. All right, so we got some attack breaks on things, which is not terrible. Let's go for a... Should we go for a stun? We did not get the stun. Let's go for the Molly. Now, let's try to make sure that we get this uh, cycle attack each. Okay. He's not really doing much. Also, we could just be attack breaking with Fran. So we already have something in here to attack break. And now he's dead. Surprise, surprise. Right? He re he, again, he really didn't do anything. There, there was no reason to even have it. I think we might win just because Ciara is a good unit. I think we might win just because Ciara is a good unit. Is this going to be enough to kill? And it was decent. We'll attack power break him. Let's see if we can crit. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's keep him attack power broken. Now, Molly has to make a tough decision of if she wants to. Well, actually, we could just do this. Yeah, attack power breaking is going to stop that from doing... Let's do Fairy's Blessing. We don't heal the friend, but not the end of the world. Is this going to kill? CR, CR Spotlight. That's all this is. This is CR Spotlight. So CR is just so good that she's just going to win regardless of anything else. She can even be nerfed by having the water gargoyle with her, and it's fine. That's, that's all we learn. 
is that CR is a an amazing unit. Yep. CR carried the entire thing. So the water one, as we already knew, is dog crap. But I feel like we didn't give the dark one enough of a fair shake. He is not amazing. He's just not as bad as we kind of saw. Let's try him with this team. It should be fun to have the wind monkey revenging every... Because everything is just going to keep hitting the dark gargoyle. And the wind monkey should hopefully be revenge. I mean, he might not revenge, but hopefully he revenges quite a bit. So let's see how much he actually revenges. And let's see if we can have any crazy things happen with the Dark Argoyle. I mean, he, he doesn't really need to provoke. He's going to do he's gonna do his thing regardless. So, I wanted to bring the Triana in here, but I don't trust the Triana. There's all these multi-hits. I don't really trust the Triana against this. So, they're just going to bypass her passive. Let's see if we can. They're going to hit him regardless. We may as well just take off the defense break. Do monkey things. Do monkey things. <laughs> Just do lots of monkey things. We have some destroy HP with the monkey. We also have some destroy... I don't want to hit him now because then he's going to cleanse himself off. So let's just do some over here. Although, actually, I I didn't realize this at first. But we are activating the T online passive every time. I didn't really think about this. We are activating the T online passive every time we use this second skill, Lightning Monkey Wand Watch. Increase attack bar. So... Sadly. Yeah, that's what happens when I half pay attention. So many defense breaks. So many defense breaks. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, there we go. Let's do destructive claws. And we are good. Hopefully he doesn't take. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never. And we're good. We're not good, though. So now we're good. I mean, we're not. We're. Again, we're still not good, but semi-good? Semi Maybe we're semi-good. I don't want to hit him right now because we're going to cleanse him after his buff from a couple patches ago. Now we can do this. Finish him off. He increases... Well, he does increase his defense also. So, the, the, the dark one. The dark... Uh, Dark Argoyle. The reality of the situation is that this is an absolute dog crap unit. This is one of the worst four stars in the entire game. I know people are going to disagree with me just because they want to disagree with me because they always want to disagree with me, but that doesn't make me wrong. This is a unit that people are not using, and there is a reason that people are not using this. The Hall of Heroes for him is, I would say, keep one because balance patches are coming, and this guy has needed to be patched for so long, really, for so very long. Keep one of him in storage, use the other ones to skill up either the Wind one, which is actually a pretty meta unit for Guild Siege, or the Fire one or the Light one if you want. If you really want to stretch, you can do the Dark one, but don't build the one. It's just a waste of resources to build the Water one. I know people want it. They're like, oh, he said it's bad, so I'm going to throw it. Like that's, But you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot. You could be using those resources to build something that is more valuable, like... The other ones that are somewhat decent. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's a balance patch that comes out, they could be so much better. And they really, they are primary targets for a balance patch because they need it more than a lot of other units. Really, all that needs to be done is just starting the match in stone state. And that would make all of these so much better. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't build them. I don't see them as always. In, don't build the water one, I mean. The other ones, you know, that's up to you. But I'll see you as always in the next one.